tell a little story. I'm gonna start a new segment on my channel called Story Time. Basically, I just tell stories, and I have guests. This is my cousin named Jeff. Hey. He has a fishing channel. Actually, we're watching fishing videos right now. That's true. This first story that I thought of to tell to share with you guys is it's based in Salisbury House at three in the morning. And now Salisbury House, for all the people outside of Manitoba, it's like a 24-hour breakfast joint. So kind of like Denny's, I guess. I used to have to go to Salisbury House because I used to live in a place where there was absolutely no internet, and I was trying to get into the YouTube and. I was trying to be a promoter at one time. One time, Basically, I used to go to Sal's. I had to drive 20 minutes from this farm to go to Winnipeg to go to a Sal's to send a goddamn email. And that was my life for a little bit. And so I spent a lot of time at Sal's. And boy, did I ever think I was weird with flirting with girls. One time at Sal's at 3 in the morning, these guys came in. One of them was a DJ and one of them, I guess, was his hype man. And so, basically, this guy, the way he was flirting with his, trying to flirt in an indirect way with his 18-year-old waitress. So basically, what, what he was saying to his buddy, he was just like, man, it's just crazy whenever, and these guys were like 30, it's just crazy whenever I have sex with, like, an 18-year-old, she just goes on and on about how I'm, like, so awesome at sex, and it's just like, I didn't really think of myself as, like, being that good at sex, but... I don't know, like, she said I was like a lot better than people her age, so it's like, man, these guys just must not be doing it right, these 18 year old guys. I didn't think I was that great, but I don't know, she's going on and on about how great I was, and was just like, wow. And me being an 18 year old man at the time, or guy, I don't know, I don't know if people are men when they're 18 anymore. So basically, me being 18, I got really upset, so I went up to him and I hit him in the mouth, with my mouth. And then I slowly made love to him on that table, just to, you know, show him that some 18-year-olds can be pretty okay at sex. That's the manly thing to do. Yeah, I thought so, right? Uh, this was the only way I could show him, because I personally believe having sex with someone is the only way that you can show them your sexual skills. I think bragging about sex is a lot like bragging about fighting. You can sit there all night and talk about how you're going to kick someone's ass, or make someone climax all night, but no one will ever know until you actually get down and do it. And I mean, personally, I wasn't gonna go for the option of trying to brag back, because I think anyone that sits and brags about how good at sex they are is a fucking douchebag. And I'm gonna be honest with you, only the first half of that story is correct. I didn't make love with a guy in Salisbury House at 3 in the morning. Yeah, he just jizzed on his face. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Um, so yeah, basically this is this has been my first story. I look for forward to sharing many with you. People have been like, Mac, you need to talk about all the weird things you've seen and done in your life, and it's like this is the first step to starting to share those things with you people. Yeah, you got a lot of those stories. Yeah. Half of them you probably can't tell, but also yeah, you you guys have a great day. Subscribe. Thank you guys so much.